Hello and welcome. When faced with equations like this, the typical thing for us to do will be to combine these two fractions on the left into one single unit, then cross multiply to straighten out the equation and then solve the resulting polynomial. But if we try that in this case, we are going to end up with a very ugly quartic equation. So let me show you a much simpler way to solve such equations. Now let y be equal to 3 minus x. When we add x to both sides of this equation, we have that y plus x is equal to 3. Now with this substitution, the original equation becomes 1 over x squared plus 1 over y squared is equal to 1 over 4 over 25. Now we can combine these two fractions. 1 times y squared is y squared plus x squared times 1 is x squared divided by x squared times y squared, which we can write as x times y squared, since they both have the same exponent. And of course, this is still equal to 1 over 4 over 25. But let us remember that y squared plus x squared is also equal to x plus y squared minus 2xy. So let us replace this in this numerator with this expression. When we do that, we have x plus y squared minus 2xy divided by x times y squared is equal to 1 over 4 over 25. Now let us remember that x plus y is equal to 3 and 3 squared is equal to 9. So here we have 9 minus 2x y divided by x y squared is equal to 1 over 4 over 25. And now when we cross multiply, we have 25 times 9 is 225 minus 2 times 25 is 50xy. And this is equal to 104 times xy squared. Now let us rearrange this equation. We are going to take all the terms on the left hand side over to the right hand side. When we do that, we are left with 0 on the left hand side and this is equal to 104xy squared plus 50xy minus 225. Now, when you look at this, you will see that this is a quadratic equation in xy, and we can solve this equation by factorization. Let us use the table method. The factors of 1 over 4 are 4xy and 26 xy and the factors of minus 225 are minus 5 and 45. Now let us check 4xy times 45 is going to give us 180xy and 26xy times minus 5 is going to give us minus 130x y and 180xy minus 130xy is equal to 50xy. So we can factorize this equation because we have that 4xy minus 5 multiplied by 26xy plus 45 
is equal to zero. And of course, from here, we have that either for xy minus 5 is equal to 0 or 26xy plus 45 is equal to 0. From here, 4xy is equal to 5 and xy is equal to 5 over 4. And from here, 26xy is equal to minus 45 and xy is equal to minus 45 over 26. So now we have two values for xy. And remember that we already have a value for x plus y. So ultimately what we have is two systems of equations in terms of x and y. The first system is x plus y is equal to 3 and x y is equal to 5 over 4 and the second system is x plus y is equal to 3 and x y is equal to minus 45 over 26 so now we are going to solve these two systems of equations and find the values of x that satisfy this original equation. Now to find the values of x and y, let us remember that when we have a system of equations like so, where one of the equations is the sum of the unknowns and the other equation is the product of the unknowns, we can solve this system of equations with a quadratic equation. Because you know that when we have a quadratic equation, for instance, in D, the quadratic equation has this form, d squared minus x plus y times d plus xy equal to zero, where obviously x plus y is the sum of the roots of this quadratic equation, and xy is the product of the roots of the quadratic equation. So when we substitute 3, for the sum of the roots and 5 over 4 for the product of the roots and solve the resulting quadratic equation we are going to get the roots which are going to be x and y so what we have is d squared minus 3d plus 5 over 4 is equal to 0. now to get rid of this fraction let us multiply through this equation by 4. when we do that we have 4 d squared minus 12d plus 5 is equal to 0. We can factorize this equation. The factors of 4d squared are 2d and 2d. And the factors of 5 are 1 and 5. But because of this negative sign, let us make it minus 1 and minus 5. Because we know that minus 1 times minus 5 is equal to plus 5. Now let us check. 2d times minus 5 is minus 10d. And 2d times minus 1 is minus 2d. And minus 2d plus minus 10d is minus 12d. So we know that this quadratic equation can be factorized as 2d minus 1 multiplied by 2d minus 5 is equal to 0. And of course, from here we have that 2d minus 1 is equal to 0 or 2d minus 5 is equal to 0. From here we have that 2d is equal to 1 or 2d is equal to 5. And from here we have that d is equal to half. Or from here we have that d is equal to 5 over 2. So the two roots of the quadratic equation are half and 5 over 2. And that simply means that when x is equal to half, y is equal to 5 over 2 and when x is equal to 5 over 2 
y is equal to half. Now you can check this result. We have x and y. x plus y is half plus 5 over 2. And of course, that is 3. And x times y is half times 5 over 2, which is 5 over 4. So now we have two values of x that satisfy this equation. That is x equal to half and x equal to 5 over 2. And in the second case, we do exactly the same thing. So we have d squared minus sum of roots, which is 3, plus product of roots, in this case, which is minus 45 over 26. So this is going to be minus 45 over 26. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now, we cannot factorize this, so let us solve by completing the square. And of course, the first thing we do is to move this constant term over to the right-hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have d squared minus 3d is equal to 45 over 26. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to add the square of half the coefficient of d to both sides of this equation. Now, of course, the coefficient of d is minus 3. Half of it is minus 3 over 2. We are going to add the square of minus 3 over 2. That is minus 3 over 2 squared. This is what we are going to add to both sides of this equation to complete the square. So on the left-hand side, we have d squared minus 3d plus minus 3 over 2 squared is equal to 45 over 26 plus this is 9 over 4. Now on the left hand side we have a perfect square. So what we do is take one of these, that is d, and take one of these minus 3 over 2 and square both. And this is equal to, let us combine these two into one single unit. 4 times 45 is 180 plus 26 times 9 is 2, 3, 4 divided by 26 times 4 is 1, 0, 4. And of course, this is equal to 0 plus 4 is 4. 8 plus 3 is 1. Carry 1. 2 plus 2 is 4. Divided by 1, 0, 4. And the next thing we are going to do is to take square root of both sides of this equation. When we take the square root of the left-hand side, we have d minus 3 over 2. And this is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 4, 1, 4 over 1, 0, 4. Now, when we add plus 3 over 2 to both sides of this equation, we have that d is equal to 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of 4, 1, 4 over 1, 0, 4. And as usual, we have found the roots of the quadratic equation. So it simply means that when x is equal to 3 over 2 plus root 4, 1, 4 over 1, 0, 4, y is equal to 3 over 2 minus root 4, 1, 4 over 1, 0, 4. And when x is equal to this, y is equal to that. So we found the final two values of x that satisfy this quartic equation. That is 3 over 2 plus or minus square root of 4, 1, 4 over 1, 0, 4. So ultimately, we have four values of x that satisfy this equation, and they are 1 over 2, 5 over 2, 3 over 2 plus this third number, and 3 over 2 minus this third number. Now you can see how we have solved this equation by solving three quadratic equations. 
I believe it's still easier than having to solve the original quartic equation and maybe getting stuck somewhere. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. Remember to subscribe if you enjoy such content. Leave us a like to support the channel. It's greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.